Happy Saturday. Today we made centerpieces. I will show you them. And this evening we are going line dancing again. I am so looking forward to it because it's finally at a bar. I appreciate the bar scene for line dancing. I could not decide if I wanted to wear this. Let me show you this shirt. It's a baby doll shirt and I love this shirt. It is so comfy. I bought it from a hippie type store in BC when I lived there. I absolutely adore this sh shirt. It's just so cozy and cute. But anyway, I decided to go ahead with it. Definitely needs cut off shorts. I always wear a crop and you know, sometimes, sometimes I just don't want to. So let me show you the center pieces we made. They turned out amazing. So this is in part what the centerpiece will look like. We bought these live edge rounds. This is gonna have the table number in it. This is kind of what it's supposed to look like when all is said and done. It's gorgeous. And then we have this sign. I have a massive, massive teddy bear in my old bedroom at my mom's. There's our beer for the wedding. <laughs> It's really easy to miss the driveway, really easy. So I'm gonna take the teddy bear from my old bedroom. It's a one of those huge, huge, ridiculously big ones. And I'm gonna sit it at the end of the driveway holding that sign. And I bought it a top hat, suspenders and a bow tie just to give that, hey, this is gonna be a really fun casual time vibes right when you get to the driveway kind of kids birthday party-ish, don't care. It's adorable. So my girlfriend came over today, one of the bridesmaids, and helped me put together all of these centerpieces. The amount of stuff that we were able to do, the wedding is basically sponsored by Dollarama and Amazon. <laughs> it's not, but you know what I mean. And while I'm standing here, this book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, is an unbelievably incredible, incredible book. It combines the fields of quantum physics, neuroscience, brain chemistry, biology, and genetics to show you what is truly possible in changing yourself. And not just your mental emotional self, but your physical health as well. People have overcome very serious health things using this. It's just incredible. So even just look up on YouTube, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One, it says. But just look up the title of the book or Dr. Joe Dispenza on YouTube and check out some of his recordings, some of his info. It's just incredible. Anyway, and Darren's finally gonna wear his cowboy hat that he bought, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna bring you along. Let's go. The wedding is super soon, but we are starving. Didn't have time to cook, so we just ordered things. We're gonna have chicken wings, non breaded, with medium and hot sauce, because that's much better than any kind of buffalo butter or any creamy sauce. We're gonna have some chip truck fries, because they come with the wings, and some feta bruschetta. So, when it comes to bruschetta, it's better than like a garlic bread or anything, obviously, but there's goat cheese, which is much better for humans than cow cheese. Way healthier for us, less inflammatory than dairy, which counts as cow stuff. So we're gonna do that, but I'll show you the plan. Are you happy to be here? Yes. Good. I have the handsomest cowboy date ever. Just for today. <laughs> Have you ever seen such amazing stuff at a restaurant? Chargers, and all three of these are different? That's amazing. Also, look at this picture of Bubs and our cup holders. The server did tell us that these would be less than par, and that apparently people complain. I think it's fine. I'll eat that. Looks fine to me. Imagine he'll step. Quarter, step, rock, step, and rock, half turn, step, rock, step, and jazz box.
Sunday. We were supposed to get up today and go to the gym, but I'm telling you, the amount of dancing that we did last night, I cannot. We were up, we couldn't fall asleep after we got home. We too pumped. I think we fell asleep at around 2 a.m. So we're not going to the gym today. We're gonna go tomorrow, on Monday. Today, we're gonna meet my brother and his lovely partner to go see the new Beetlejuice. I'm so pumped. I loved that movie as a kid. And the fact that it's the OG cast, same director, that has me with some high hopes, which is dangerous. But anyway, we're going to go check that out. Have a very lazy Sunday. I need to head to Michael's to get some ribbon for our sunflower bouquets, the ribbon that has the wire in it. We're going to go to PetSmart, get some stuff for the cat. It's a uh, running some errands, watching a good movie, hopefully lazy Sunday. Okay, look at this. Oh my gosh. I wish Zoe would wear a costume because these are amazing. Does anybody decorate their fish tank for Halloween? Honestly, fish tank decor. We got Zoe some exciting new food that hopefully she likes. And my little nephew, Doggy, a toy of his favorite kind. It's like a little toy that a dog would rip apart, like a stuffy, four dogs specifically that rip things apart. And it's got an extra little toy inside. So, really cute anyway. Oh, I feel so bad for these kitties. Hi. Look at them. <laughs> Look at the kittens. Oh. Look at these guys. I like this one. This breaks my heart. <laughs> They're so cute but they do get lots of love here. Lots and lots of love here. And they're bonded pairs, so they make sure to adopt them out together. Klaus and Ray here, the last two cats I just showed you, have had three homes that haven't worked out for them. So, PetSmart in Burlington, come check these guys out. Give them a home. My cat hates all of the animals, so unfortunately, she can't have any siblings, but they're so cute. Poor guys haven't been able to find a family. It says, for various reasons and none of it was their fault. Calm, friendly, and affectionate. Great with kids. Not sure of dogs. If I could have them all, I would. One day it's like a dream I've always had to start a senior animal sanctuary and adopt all the senior dogs and cats out there. Anyway, moving on with a sore heart. Hopeful heart, a hopeful heart. We got a fight happening down here. Come on, get along, dudes. They're looking at me now. Broke up the fight. I had a budgie exactly like this yellow one when I was a kid. My brother named it Jamal. I had named it Tango. Oh, he came over. Oh, there's three in there. This guy's hanging out by himself while these two fight and argue. We got some dark blue guys. Light blue. Oh, pretty canary. Aww. This is called a fancy canary. Society finch. little hamsters that I guess are sleeping because they're all nocturnal. And fish. To be honest, I had no idea they still had real animals here. Then we have these beauties. Bearded dragon. Okay, we should go find Darren. He's probably waiting ever so patiently for me. Yep, he's outside. The cutest skeleton in the world. I understand it doesn't make sense anatomically, but we're not caring about that. 
We're gonna, should we get this rubber ducky skull? What are we gonna do with it? It's so creepy. We'll put it with the rest of our uh, fall uh, autumn decor. That is, it's the only one. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. We can have a bag of body parts. <laughs> I pass on those. Little puppy skeletons. Ew, or big body parts. Side note, I really do like this too. That is your jam. That is. Get it, it's only three dollars. Spectacular. It oh, it feels nice. Oh, that's a good material. It's not too heavy. I like these too, and they have the use your phone things that never actually work. Oh, good. The lighting in here really shows the bags under these eyes. It's slouchy too. Yeah, it's a good one. It's not too heavy. Oh hard. my gosh. We're buying this. <laughs> I put the gloves in. Oh, and the gloves? Yeah. Amazing. So I'm super set. I have to show everyone this Yeti hat that I have at home. I have this hat. I bought it from an airport years ago, like over 10 years ago. I've never worn it outside because I'm too embarrassed, but it's the coolest hat ever. And now that I'm in my 40s, you know, you just, life is too short to not wear things that make you happy. Look at these guys. Some of this stuff you can find at very expensive stores. This looks like a good can opener. This looks like a piece of junk. This is at the dollar store now. We're seasonally confused in this aisle. Halloween? Deck the holes. It's not this. even October. This is pretty. I thought it was ceramic. It's not. At that duck store? is ridiculous. We shouldn't get that. Let's just leave it. You can hang out with those. Oh, that's fun. This comes with the mug. Amazing. A Halloween nutcracker? <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's not even a nutcracker. That's funny. You can put your one shot in here. It's very small. I would eat corn with these guys. What are they for? Oh, I see. That's so cool. Place mats? Do you remember the days of like actual Halloween party? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is ridiculous. This guy is so cute though. That looks like the catacombs. That candle. This looks like uh, that church in. Yeah, Czech. the catacombs. Well, there's one in Paris. It's nuts in there. Is this a candle holder? It is. That candle will be very tilty. Crow's feet. That's sad. Oh, cool. Crows are amazing. I wish they would be my friend. You could wear this as a tube. Yeah, we're gonna skip Halloween this year. <laughs> Look at these. Sixty percent off. Sixty percent off. Look at this. That's. $300. <gasps> that should not be $300. This is why Michael's... Oh, we got disco ones here. This is why Michael's always has sales, because everything's atrociously expensive. Oh, I like this little shelving unit. Frankenstein on a toilet, because why? A girl in Poe? Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Oh, look at these guys. This will be us on Saturday. Creepy. these. <laughs> That's awesome. Looks like me in the morning. <laughs> You're always cheery. Tantra for skeletons. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But that's not Frankenstein. For those who don't know. Oh, that is Frankenstein. I have her. Where? I can't see. Oh, here. Okay. 
Yeah, it's her and... Frankenstein. That's not Frankenstein. That monster. doesn't even look like Frankenstein's monster. Is right. it Frankenstein right. himself? Well, is the Bride of Frankenstein the Bride of Frankenstein's monster or Bride of... I thought she... No, he made her so that Frankenstein's monster could have a partner. So then why is it called Frankenstein's monster's bride? Because that's too long. <laughs> This is why I'm not hyphenating my name. <laughs> endless, endless possibilities for crafting that I always think I'll do, and I never will. I never do. I don't see babies. We are at Marshall's now, but I want to show you the food situation here. If you ever go to Marshall's, Winners, or HomeSense, the food, like the dry goods area, there's such good organic stuff there that is really expensive elsewhere, and it's amazing. Sometimes you have to check the expiry on things, but I'm telling you, give it a try. So the thing with mugs, I'm not a Hello Kitty fan per se. Um, there's a lot of mugs I like, but I need a very specific style. Introvert, is it 24? Yeah, 24 ounce mugs is what I use and nothing else will do. This, this is perfect. Feel the texture of this mug. It's like a rubbery. Manifest that, it's just not big enough. Ooh, this is cool, man. I like my water cups to have handles though. What is this? Like, honestly, there's no, no one enjoys drinking out of this. Would you drink out of this? I would put a plant in there, perhaps. Hello Kitty, everything. Everyone has this. Everybody, all YouTubers have that. I don't really know about it or why it's amazing. Salad spinner, highly recommend. Twix coffee? Gotta be healthy. Okay, so don't sleep on the food area. Himalayan salt by the bag full. This is the absolute best sugar substitute. It doesn't affect your blood sugar. It doesn't affect your gut bacteria. There's zero calories. It's amazing. It's called monk fruit. Ooh, it comes in a powdered version. Best, best, best sugar replacement ever. That's what I put all my type two diabetes clients on. Well, every, every one of my clients. People really like this PB and me stuff. I get it. It has way less calories, but then you're taking out all of the good healthy fats and healthy fats are why we like nut butter. Also peanuts aren't the greatest for you. Organic chia seeds, chia and oat pancake and waffle mix. It's my favorite pasta shape. Thin and crisp cookie edge. Cookies made as if they were the edges of the cookies. That's everything I don't like about a cookie. They've even got bubble teas here now. Coconut flakes, that's a great brand. Organic. Pecan pie, fruit and nut mix. Good to go brownies. Oh, cool. These are so good. These are cleanse friendly. Better for you cookies. These feel like cardboard through the bag. Instant. You don't ever want instant oats. They turn into glucose way too quick in your body. It unbalances your blood sugar. These are great things to buy here. Look at this big bag of toasted coconut. These are great. Try to get unroasted and unsalted nuts. Halloween everywhere. Happy Monday. I have a few client calls today, morning and evening. So this middle chunk of the day, I am going to go to a greenhouse up in the country. Things are usually on sale right now in September. And I'm gonna take advantage of that and find a pot for this bad boy because she is very, very, or he, very, very root bound. And I was gonna to go to the gym with Darren. I usually go to the gym with him, but that is a life and it is, poor thing is just strangled in there. So we're gonna go and find ourselves a pot for her and hopefully it's on sale, fingers crossed. But I love some alone time. I love a drive to the country. Let's go enjoy that and see if we can't find a pot that works.
they had two pots to choose from and one I didn't think there was enough drainage the other one I just kept thinking like there's only two pots to choose from I get that things are on sale but there is another greenhouse of the same same chain about 16 minutes away let's go there I think it's bigger people say it's better let's go see what they got okay this garden center is definitely much bigger let's go see if we can find oh my gosh they already have more over here okay so it was a good idea to come this far out aha this is what i'm talking about see all these with way more drainage you want more than one drainage hole ideally okay we're gonna pick a pot we got that apparently this is good enough for repotting monstera that was an absolute disaster Woo! that place is massive it's huge and you know i knew more about plants than the two people that i spoke to which was kind of disconcerting i consider myself you know somewhat new at plants although i have learned a lot in the last year or two but well, we got a pot, it was 50% off. We got two things of tropical potting soil, which, you know, I tried to look at Reddit. Reddit knows everything. And there's people making their own recipes and doing all this stuff about soil. I don't, I'm not there yet. So, and then people are saying miracle Grow sucks, blah, blah, blah. I've had no problems with it so far. My plants are thriving. So let's head home and try to repot this bish. Let's go. All right, here is our pot. Here's our lovely lady. Let the madness begin. up and find a spot but it looks glorious. Bubs is obsessed with her little couch. Darren found this couch at HomeSense or Winners and she loves, loves it. With tissue on it, of course. Fresh tissue only. We are playing the game in the morning where we run from her little couch to the rebounder trampoline in the living room, to the cup holders, and back to the couch. Belly rubs. Ready, Bubba? Boom! She loves jumping. On to the cup holders. Papa! Hi! <laughs> Papa! Ready? And we'll do this for maybe 10 minutes until she gets bored of it. But this is our little morning game. She lets me know if I've sat on the couch for too long. Having my morning relax time. 